A reading from the devotional, Holding God's Hand. Leave the Outcome to God. A testimony by Joshua Sundquist. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2, 10. It's hard to imagine a worse environment for giving a motivational speech. I was standing between the tables in the center of a hospital cafeteria, between the entrance and the food itself which meant a steady stream of people stepped around me as I spoke. There had been no advance publicity for my speech, so the audience was made up of the usual patrons of the cafeteria. I didn't have a microphone to help my voice compete with the giant flat screen television, and a baby was screaming about 10 feet away from me. In the middle of all this, I was attempting to give a talk about my battle with cancer and the loss of my leg. I took a deep breath and remembered what my mother had told me before the presentation. Even if it seems like a tough room to give a speech in, maybe you'll be able to touch just one person. Doubtful, I thought. After I finished, there was a smattering of applause. I was eager to leave, but as I did, a young man grabbed my shoulder. I lost both my legs in the war, he said, gesturing down toward his two prosthetic limbs. I really appreciate you sharing your story today. Lord, please give me the patience I need to do my work and leave the outcome to you. Faith Step The next time you have to address a group, tell yourself it's more than enough to reach an audience of one. you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and no will understand. Thank you.
Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Blessed are your poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And if wicked tongues insult. labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light.' 